get an assist when Sam Mills and Ramon Galloway have a hard time, have one field goal apiece, you, you're not playing your best. Uh, you know, there's no question if we win today, we're, we're in. And now, frankly, we, we might be at the mercy of, of others a little bit. So we kind of was coming off two bad losses and uh, we didn't want to go out like that. So uh, we was hoping that, you know, our wins during the season got us into Selection Sunday. And let the madness begin. It is Selection Sunday and Philadelphia is in play. Day. Villanova, Temple and LaSalle were all on edge all day long, crossing their fingers, hoping, praying they'd make the NCAA tournament. 6 p.m. on Sunday, March 17th, couldn't get here soon enough. The explorers felt their body of work spoke for itself, but only the opinions of the selection committee carried any weight. A lot of people were texting me like, I hope you make it in. And a lot of, some people were texting me saying they knew we were in, but really I knew that nobody knew that we were, that we were in except the um, selection committee. Um, selection shun Sunday was about far the scariest moment. That whole day I just had the jitters. It was like prom, it was like first date. It was just like a scary day. Dozens of media members filed into the Heyman Center, joining the players and coaches eagerly awaiting their postseason fate. Meanwhile, a watch party for the student body was being held across campus in the Dan Rodden Theater. Um, when I saw the media in the conference room as we was watching Selection Sunday, it just, like, I immediately got butterflies in my stomach just because I was so nervous. I was as many uh, reporters as I ever seen, like in like one room. I was so nervous I had to leave the, the room. I left the room. Uh, I said a little prayer and, and I came back in the room. So then um, I had Taylor next to me and um, I was holding his arm like the whole time. It was just like, yo, man, we gotta get caught. <laughs> you just gotta get caught. It was kind of quiet because everybody was like, oh, are we gonna get picked or are we gonna make it? Three regions had passed with no mention of the explorers. But for a fan base that had waited 21 years since its last dance, what was a few more minutes? Regular season title, and they will play the winner of the first round game between Boise State Broncos and the Explorers of LaSalle. The Explorers making their first NCAA tournament appearance since 1992. Yeah. I mean, on film, like you can see us, like when our name got called, you can see Taylor's his uh, leg was all the way up here, and I jumped just as high. So it was just like a great experience. The first Sitting and, and hearing that cheer and watching that, uh, watching that name came up, it was ten times better than I've ever played it over in my head. It was just everybody was so excited, you know, the whole Philadelphia, you know, was, was watching us. We see that name, it was just like, it was just like a thousand pounds off our shoulders. We were just so happy. We jumped up in joy. Um, it, it just was a great feeling. And uh, to, to have this particular group of kids um, get rewarded for all the effort they put in was just wonderful. It was especially wonderful because they're such a, a likable group of players. Turn up, turn up. All we do is turn up, turn up. I packed my clothes. Obviously, I didn't get my hair done. So I just washed it and this was on the road. LaSalle snagged one of the last four spots in the tournament field, and they would square off against Boise State on Wednesday, March 20th in Dayton, Ohio.